Welcome to the PT channel. Today's topic is protein. Now everyone knows protein is important for building muscle, bodybuilders, return activity, sports, performance on there too. But really, how much protein? How do I get it? How much do I need every day for bodily processes, building muscle, getting stronger, getting the gains I want to do? There's a lot of questions that we get asked all the time. And those are great questions because it's a little confusing, that's for sure. So I got some notes, so bear with me on there too. Sorry, I'm going to look down from there from time to time because there's a lot of good information that I want to make sure that we hit today. So protein, basically, it does structural components of cells, contractile foundation of muscles, um, an enzyme for biomechanical reactions, and precursor for hormone synthesis. Now, it's important to break down protein into what it is. It is a macronutrient that we need to get every day in our diet. Carbs, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, very important. But protein, it gets broken down into amino acids. You cannot, uh, your body does not digest and absorb protein itself. It needs to convert them into amino acids, the building blocks of protein. So there itself, there are 13 non-essential amino acids that your body, that basically means your body does not need to consume in the diet for daily day-to-day -day processes. It's, they're incomplete, they're from plant-based material mostly. Um, and then there's essential amino acids that you need to have in your diet from animal protein, diet, food, and, and such. Now, glutamine is the big thing I want to talk about with the non-essential amino acids. Glutamine is very important. I have a bottle of it right here. And now this bottle is Optimal Nutrition through Bodybuilding.com or All Star Health. It gives you one gram of when one pill is one gram. They recommend to take about five to 10 <laughs> grams a day, two to four times a day. So five to 10 grams is a lot. So you would take five to 10 pills of that two to four times a day. That's recommendations and research and everything there too. Now on any of the things that we're gonna talk about today, you gotta listen to your body. You're not, might not be a bodybuilder, a weightlifter, a sports performance person, just maybe a person trying to lose some weight or gain muscle. You have to listen to what's good for you. Um, we recommend taking glutamine after working out throughout the day, a couple times throughout the day. So that's two grams. I take two pills at a time, recommend our clients to take two grams at a time. So you're going to take two grams, probably two to three times a day, probably three times a day. So you're going to look at probably six grams a day. That's, that's a lot for me to be taking pills, all this stuff, but glutamine is very important for that too. It also helps with some digestion and some stomach, stomach issues that you may be having on there too. So it's a secondary thing for that amino acid. So glutamine, very important to take as a non-essential amino acid. Now basically protein is found in a lot of different varieties. I don't have chicken and steak and salmon and eggs and all that stuff out here too. These are just supplements to take. Um, you have the casein and you have the whey. Now the whey protein is a cheaper than the casein. Casein is slow digesting. Um, your body can only process so much protein at a time, whether it be a bar or food or anything or supplements. But casein, your body can absorb about six grams an hour and the way it can do eight to 10 grams an hour. So your bodily processes and your muscle activation and your basically just day-to-day -day activities, you need protein in it. Now, if you're trying to build muscle and build good muscles through hypertrophy and working out and bodybuilding, you're gonna need more protein in your diet. But you don't wanna go too crazy, too much of the protein. Very important to avoid having an over consumption of it because that can hurt your kidneys, your stomach, your liver, everything. You don't want to do those things. So just the basic rule is you want to do about two grams of protein per kilogram. Now here in the United States, we have pounds. We don't really use kilograms at all. That's a European, uh, rest of the world type of thing. But the simple math is we'll do, uh, you want to do, let's say for one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. So you're like, what does that mean? We got, so we'll just do the average math of 200 pound person. So you got a 200 pound person, you wanna divide that by 2.2, that'll give you kilograms, that'll give you 90.91 kilograms. You times that by two, because you wanna do two grams per kilogram, and that'll give you how much protein you need, that comes out to be 181.82 grams. So roughly about 180 grams of protein you need every day at the higher end of it. That's two grams protein per kilogram. Usually you can get about 1 to 1.5 for the average person on there too. You do not want to go over that 2.0 uh, gram per kilogram on there. So again, 
you're going to do your weight divided by 2.2, then multiply that number you get by 2, and that's how much grams of protein you need. Simple math, just keep it that way. Don't really absorb that. Maybe even get a little less on there too. So if you're 185, 165 pounds, you're gonna be you're gonna be far less than that 180 grams. But that's just simple math. Again, pounds over divide pounds divided by 2.2, get that number and multiply that by two. And that's a simple equation you want to get. And that's a lot of protein to be eating in a day. So you're 200 pounds, 180 grams. That's a lot. How am I going to do that in a day? Well, you want to be sleeping six to eight hours a day, maybe a little later for regeneration of your muscle tissue. Then you got, you got to work an eight hour day. So that's 16 hours of the day for sleeping eight hours, working eight hours. And then you got eight hours left in a day. How are you going to do all that? Well, hopefully you're going to wake up, have breakfast, have lunch, a snack between the two, a snack at work and then lunch, and then dinner then maybe work out after dinner or whatever you're going to do that and then have another thing at night. So you got to be able to do what works for you. Now you got supplementation of branch chain amino acids. Like I said, protein gets broken down into branch chain amino acids and the other full spectrum um, of, the pro of the amino acids there too. But this one is very important because it's branch chain amino acids and mainly leucine. Leucine is very imp important for muscle activation, protein synthesis, anabolism, avoiding a catabolic state. Catabolic state means that you're getting your muscles breaking down. Anabolic state means muscles building. Like anabolic steroids, that's why they get the term from that. It builds muscle. It's been proven to do that. So anabolic state is what you want. And that's what you do with amino acids and whey protein and just protein in general. So leucine has been found to be the most effective for that, and that's in the branched chain amino acids there. It's going to be in the protein powders and everything too, but you're going to get your best bang for your buck from a pill like that or a powder. Um, you want to take about 2.5 to 5 grams of leucine. That's a lot. This, is, this staple is two capsules, 500 milligrams of that. So you're looking at 10 to 20 capsules of these alone a day. So that is 400 capsules. So if you're doing 10, that'll be 40 days. So that's going to last you about a month and a, and a week or so. So that's going to be very important to take sparingly after workouts when you can. Because again, the, the companies want you to take their stuff and buy it and use it and buy it more and do those things and buy it every month if you can on there too. But listen to your body. These are supplements again too. Your bodily processes doesn't really need to be done with this supplementation. It's building muscle for that abundance of there too. So if you're taking extra, then your body's gonna have those gains. If you take a little less, it'll be okay, but you're just starting the whole process of it too. Work your way up, your budget might not call for it there too. So maybe take you know the two capsules two to three times a day. So you're looking at six times. That'll last you a long time on there too. So you don't have to go by the recommendations of that, but those you know five grams of leucine has been shown to be effective for that. Now you got protein is an abundance of things, food, chicken, steak, yogurt, you know, seafood, a lot of things there too, fish, chicken, cheese, nuts, milk, oatmeal. Um, you want to be able to mix it up on there too and listen to your diet and what you can do, what's good for you too. Maybe you have another condition where you don't like this or that, but mix it up on there too. Just some simple things are the shakes, yogurt. Greek yogurt, 12 grams of protein right there too. Very important to have the, the two. Now, you can have milk, you know, skim milk, low fat milk, chocolate milk, whatever you like. Oatmeal, there's 10 grams in oatmeal nowadays too, so you can get a good chunk of that as well. Now, cottage cheese, non-fat mozzarella, that's pretty good. Beans, kidney beans, black beans, those can get about 15 to 17 grams. Nuts, Peanuts, almonds, pistachios are very high in there too. They'll give you some essential um, antioxidants, potassium, protein, fiber, very important to have. And flax seeds, they're pretty good too. Essential um, omega-3 fatty acids and proteins again. And they can prevent stroke and heart disease as well. So that's just flax seeds to throw into a shake, get a ninja or Nutribullet or something to blend up your general shakes on there as well. So the other thing is eggs. The last thing I want to talk about is eggs. Eggs get a bad rap and they also are very important in, in the diet of those things because you can eat a bunch of eggs in the morning and that give you a bunch of protein. Now again, your body can only process so much protein in an hour, about, about you know, 10 to 15 grams every hour. 
So you want to make sure that you're not overdoing it because if you're having too much protein at once, you're not, your body's not going to absorb it and it's being wasteful. So eat half a bar that's 20 grams or 30 grams and have a protein shake that's half or have a protein shake that's only half of the scoops in there too and then have another one to do that. So your body's have that protein synthesis. It has that constant supply of protein. Now eggs in the morning, egg whites are 3.6 grams of protein. An egg by itself is six grams of protein. Egg whites have no cholesterol whatsoever. The whole egg has 200 and some milligrams of cholesterol where they want you to have 300 grams for the whole day. So you gotta be careful of those things and the protein in general from those things. So any questions, feel free to comment, ask there. Um, you can like, share, subscribe, please. Um, these are just some general protein there as well. Um, also, casein we like to take at night whey you like to take throughout the day and you can throw a little scoop in there too because this is slower digesting than the whey again um, just try to mix it up see what the flavors you like to do different supplies different companies different manufacturers of it on there too so again like share subscribe all that post comments questions and um, again so this is just some general knowledge about protein when to take it how to take it on there too and you want to do it within 30 to 45 minutes after a workout very important to have that grams of protein after a workout to keep your anabolic and muscle building on there too. So again, guys, thank you as always. Um, and keep training on there too. And get, get some protein into that diet. Thank you.